Hello, welcome to my channel. I am a sketch artist and I'm here to show you how easy it is to draw. If you don't believe me, keep on watching. And if you like what you see, please make sure you like and subscribe because it helps me out a ton. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Welcome to part five of my Wonder Woman sketch. Um, in the last video, um, I explained that I would finish off the, doing the basics of the hair um, before I started this part, but I thought, well, I'll do it on camera, but I'll do it in a time lapse um, so that you can see um, how I've done it, basically. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to um, crack on. Um, I will try and find some nice music for you to uh, listen to while I get this bit done. And then when I am done, um, I'll come back um, and uh, we can discuss doing the rest of the image, okay? Others, the attic, more room for careless time. Now, systematic, yeah, throw old familiar down those cellar stairs. Oh, with the monster moves, all down the cellar stairs. With the monster moves oh, All this dirt will always come off On oh, this written wall could wash away Well, I won't cut my hands off now You won't cut your ties to vanity Singing your medley All this on a rubble making Oh, sing in your medley The son of rubble making Oh, now a happy ever after We're swinging from the rafters Oh, let's have it one more time Then tear the place apart We'll settle on a chapter The one with all the laughter The one where nothing really matters and we're standing where we started Ooh. 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 Okay, so um, that's pretty much uh, what we're going to do, um, how we're going to sort of move on. This probably comes up a bit more there. So 
It's all about being patient. Hair is a very unique thing to draw, so um, and it's the sort of thing that you are best off building up in layers. The more intricate it looks, the better, really. So, we're going to start with the uh, right side here and we're just going to go around and define all the um, edges and all these fine pieces now. Try not to break up any of the lines that you're drawing, um, or it just it won't look right, and you're going to have to go through and resolve all of it in the end anyway. Uh, define the top line. All the while you're trying to sort of blend it in to the basic shading that you've done already. Um, we'll get to the rest of that later on. Uh, certain lines you need to sort of define, um, but you should be concentrating on the edges more so. them just right. Now you don't have to worry about getting it perfect, like just like spot on perfect. Um, just get the idea of it nailed down and you know make it your own almost. Just go with the flow of how you feel it should be and don't worry too much about it. And it's important to not sort of always be aware of the, the whole hair as a piece, you know. Look at different elements um, and sort of work on those tiny pieces. 
build it all up in stages. that off that side. I was working on the inner part here. As you can see most of it is kind of dark. Um, so we're going to sort of do what we can, define what we can. Not the easiest hair uh, to replicate, but doing our best. And as I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, spot on to how it is in the source image here. But we want to try and get it matched as best as you can, and just keep working at it. to the other side here now.
Okay, so <clears throat> that's looking a lot better now. Um, now we can go through and sort of do a little bit more fine work. More blending. In fact, let's just miss this particular section now, so let's just finish this off. And the more lines you put in, the better it's going to be, really. I mean, that's the general... It's the general idea. So we're gonna um, we're gonna leave the hair like that for now. Um, we will probably sort of do some last minute touches um, a bit later on. Um, so I'm gonna move quickly on now and start working on. Um, the upper chest part here, everything apart from the armor, um, this part and this part. So, again, it's, uh, it's more sketching work.
so we're giving it that basic layer of shade blocking out the uh, the area that we need to work on so as I said uh, yeah I'm trying to sort of do this quickly as possible and not normally this fast but for the sakes of this uh, video series um, I'm trying to speed things up um, get more done in a short space of time so you guys don't have to sit there for too long Um, I will say though that when this sketch is done I will be releasing a video sort of like a, a heavily edited down video um, of start to finish of this sketch and just for those who don't really have the time to sit there for hours watching me do this they can sort of watch a you know 15 20 minute version instead just for the benefit of you fine folk that don't have the time because I'm lovely like that so yeah I'm not too worried about um, getting the border lines perfect right now because these armor pieces will be uh, dealt with in probably the final video okay so we've done that block so we're going to go and do a bit of blending see there we've got that area nailed down um, and I'm probably not going to go all the way to the bottom um, I always like to sort of fade it out a little bit um, Shading isn't 100% perfect today, but at least I can cover it all with blending. Hmm. But this is just the basic sort of layer, so we don't have really have to worry too much about it when we come to do the following sort of shades, the deeper shades. I can worry about getting it right. Then, there we go. So, now that we've got the basic sort of layer down, we can look at the image now and have a look and see where all the sort of the deeper shades are. We can see that there's some here, some here and here. So we're going to throw that in um, and working from right to left as usual. Um, OK, 
Okay, so it gets a little bit deeper here. Just to find that side a bit more. So I know where I'm going. So yeah, it gets slightly darker this side, so we need to round it off a little bit. in that darker shade always checking the source image to make sure that you're not going too far with it getting it just right see that having um, an effect already um, so moving on Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. Getting the 
roundness of her upper arm area here nailed down. So at this particular point it does get quite dark. So let's make sure we get that bit in. Moving on now to the neck. It's quite dark there. Now there's a shadow behind her upper armour piece here, so I'm just going to block that in as well. Um, it doesn't have to be spot on, as I said. You're just getting the idea of it. Um, and this side here as well. a tiny bit of a shadow going on. band here or whatever it is okay so we've come quite far already and I think this is probably going to be one of those sketches where I'm going to have to sort of use a darker pencil to get these deep bits um, in properly. But I'll, um, I'll think about that. So sketching, you know, is... Is a very uh, therapeutic thing, 
and I never really kind of realized how therapeutic it could be. Um, and if you have the time and the patience and the determination, then there's really nothing that you can't achieve. You know, people say to me all the time, you know, but it requires a special skill. And I, I, I've never subscribed to that theory. Never, never, never. Um, I've always believed that, you know, yes, it's something that you you might be born with. But it doesn't mean it's not something you can't learn. And I've always believed that you can learn to draw like this. Um, and as I said, it takes patience and determination, self-belief, not giving up at the first hurdle if you make uh, a mistake. You know, ploughing through it, ploughing through and learning from any mistakes that you do make. I spent the, the past four or five years self-teaching myself. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm self-taught is basically what I'm trying to say. And... I've gone through and learned all the classic errors myself and realised that it is all just about having a sense of patience and a sense of determination. So what we're doing here is we're just sort of smoothing everything out that doesn't look so you know, spot on. Um, we're just looking at various areas to see how we can improve them. Putting quite a bit of pressure down on this smudge stick so we can get a good sense of depth. Now I'm not going to finalise this particular bit of the hair here because it intertwines with um, quite a few things like the um, the armour piece and, and the skin and, and stuff so I don't I'm not really going to be defining that just yet we'll be doing that at the end um, so um, we're at a good point here where um, I'm going to pause and stop the video um, and in part six um, we're going to be tackling the um, the armour pieces so we are sort of nearing the end and um, it hasn't taken us that long I mean it's what four hours worth um, of work here and we'll obviously be sort of doing sort of fine details so it might be sort of slightly longer um, the last part um, but I do try to stick to an hour because I don't want it to sort of drag on for too long and as I said, at the end, I will be doing a sort of edited down version for you guys that don't have the time. Um, and also, um, I'll be giving this sketch away um, to new subscribers um, from part three onwards. Um, so all you have to do there is um, subscribe, leave a comment in the description um, area comments area below um, and I will pick a winner um, and and get it sent to you um, 
please like and subscribe my video it means a lot to me if you do um, I'm a new um, youtuber new to this whole sort of uh, video sketching business so the more support you guys can give me the better if you have any questions or queries um, please um, let me know either write in the comments or sort of get in touch with me I will do my utmost to answer um, everyone um, I'll see you for the next part um, which will be in a few days time um, so have a great time I shall see you guys soon thank you very much <laughs>